हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू एस क्लास टेक आउट चैप्टर नंबर 16 मीन्स ऑफ ट्रांसपोर्ट एंड टेक आउट पेज नंबर 107 सो इन द लास्ट क्लास वी डिड अबाउट रोडवेज एंड हेयर आर सम क्वेश्चन रिगार्डिंग दैट फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज विच इज द मोस्ट यूजफुल मोड ऑफ ट्रांसपोर्ट सेकेंड Name the two types of roads. Third, in how many categories roads are classified? Fourth, which country has the largest network roads in the world? Fifth, name the roads that connect villages with town and cities. And the last one is name the largest highway project launched in India. Our today's topic is railways. So let's have a look on objectives now. First one is to understand about railway transport. Second, to know about importance of railways. Before understanding our topic from book, let's an overview regarding our topic of the day that is railways. So rail transport or train transport is a means of transferring passengers and goods. on wheeled vehicles running on rails which are located on tracks and these tracks usually consist of steel rails and usually fitted with metal wheels so indian railways is india's national railway system operated by ministry of railways and indian railway has the fourth largest network in the world and the headquarter of indian railway is in new delhi and the minister of railway is piyush goel and india's first passenger train was introduced by british in 1853 between mumbai and thane and lord dalhousie yes yeah, student which you have also read about in means of communication chapter lord dalhousie is known as father of indian railways also right so students while traveling through train have you noticed that on the way several stations are named as junction terminal and station do you know what do they mean and why these names are written on the railway station book let's know one by one so first we will start with terminal when the track or route ends a station is known as terminal the meaning of terminal itself is the end this is the station from where the train does not go further and train can only enter or leave the station in only one direction examples of terminal station are chhatrapati shivaji terminus lokmanya tilak terminal etc next is junction if at least three routes are passing from one station then the station is called a junction it means that the train that comes into the station must have at least two outgoing train lines the junction with the highest route is mathura that is seven routes are passing from one station and the third is station so it is a place on railway line where train regularly stops so that passenger can get on or off before beginning with the reading of railways let's look at the terms first one is railways means of transport that run on track second metro trains trains that run on track within a city so students look at the book now on page number 107 railways topic let's start reading in 1853 the british introduced railways in india the first railway line was built between bombay and thane Though the British built it for their benefit it has expanded to become the largest in Asia and fourth largest network in the world So students these lines mean that the British introduced railways in India in 1853 and the first railway line was built between Bombay present Mumbai and Thane right british built it for their own benefit this means that they built it for their own economical use so that they can get more benefit from india but today it has become the largest network in asia and the fourth largest railway network in the world come on the second paragraph of page number 108 let's start reading today the railways play an important role 
not only in moving people and goods from one place to another but in the development of india so the meaning of these lines is that railways carry people and goods over long distances quickly and cheaply it has an efficient system of rail traffic signaling and communication system it is also an economic lifeline of india since many passengers use it every single day and the indian government gets lot of money from railways come on the second line of second paragraph science and technology have replaced the steam engine with electric and diesel engines which are faster so science and technology have replaced the steam engine with the diesel engine and electric engine because they are easier to maintain and more efficient and they also require less maintenance and fewer members to run see the third line now millions of people use railways and tons of goods are being sent from one place to another every day trains are faster and more comfortable some trains like the rajdhani express and the shatabdi express run at a speed of 140 km per hr these lines mean that millions of people and tons of goods are being sent from one place to another through railways every day right and trains are faster than roadways transport because the trains like rajdhani express and the shatabdi express run at a very high speed that is 140 km per hr and they are comfortable because they are least affected by weather problems like rain fog etc and all the carriages in the train are air conditioned seats are comfortable come on the next paragraph in kolkata and delhi metro trains run in urban areas these trains run either underground or on elevated areas so in the first line underline metro trains we have done the meaning of metro trains in the term and the meaning is trains that run on track within a city underline urban and write city there and in the second line underline elevated and write high so before understanding the meaning of these lines let's know more about metro so kolkata metro is the first metro in india the first metro service was launched in kolkata in 1984 by former prime minister indira gandhi so here these lines mean that metro trains run in city areas and it run either underground or on elevated areas come on the third line the suburban trains in mumbai are the most important means of transport especially for people who go to work so underline suburban and write locals there so here these lines mean that mumbai suburban railway is the lifeline of the city as more than 70% of people transport through railways for their work we have also seen railways transport in bollywood movies which clearly depict the dependence of people on mumbai local railways so students i have done reading with explanation of the topic i hope you have understood let's focus on map work now so the map work of railways is similar to the map work of roadways but instead of making a line we have to make a track there like this and rest all other things are same so students we have completed today's topic and now your homework is to revise terms and do exercise a of page 110 on book and exercise c of page 110 on copy thank you